in for that um, PBR. So we can substitute in here. Sorry, this isn't, shouldn't be the initial. The inlet flow rate times 1 minus x divided by the initial volumetric flow rate <coughs> times 1 plus epsilon x. And is that all we need? Yeah, we need the pressures as well, so you have to include this little term over here. <coughs> Got it. I feel like that makes it sharper. Or is it sharp ones don't do it and dull ones do? Okay, so what's delta? Zero. Right, 2A goes to B plus C, so epsilon is also zero. And so we can rewrite that as um, we can also write out that the initial concentration of A is equal to the flow rate of A entering this unit divided by the initial volumetric flow rate for this unit. And so you get Any questions there? So delta being zero makes the problem solvable. And then we can combine the design equation with the rate equation, which I forgot to write down. The rate equation with elementary reactions. So it's K C A squared. Yes. Same deal as the other one. If you put a two there, no big deal. Just let me know. Um, okay, so then we combine and we get FA naught A times BX DW is equal to K times this stuff squared. Can we stop there? <coughs> no. Right. Because the pressure is still there and we need to get rid of that pressure term so that we have it as a function of um, catalyst weight. All right. So we also need the pressure drop equation. Epsilon is zero. What does this simplify to? P over P naught A is equal to one minus alpha times the weight of the catalyst to the one half. Right? All right. So I can substitute that in to that combined equation. All right, that's good. It's wrong in my solutions, but only in that spot. So the final answer is still good. <coughs> okay, and now again, the problem statement was asking for algebraic 
functions. So that's why we had to keep going. We couldn't just stop. We can't just stop here. Um, and so to integrate this, both of these integral tables, or both of these were in the integral table. think that if you didn't integrate, you still pretty much got full credit. So remember that what the problem asked you for was A times some function of x is equal to some function of catalyst weight. And so you could define A two ways and you would have gotten full credit. And so that means that f of x is equal to x over 1 minus x and g of w equal to 1 over 2 alpha or you could have included in A the 2 alpha term. Questions about that part? Yeah. Um, for the conversion, the start of conversion, why would it be zero instead of point three? Is that the conversion is coming from the first reactor to point three? So yeah, but then the problem statement said define yeah. conversion with respect to right. the inlet. All right. I'm just like we would just start at zero, like we start over. Yeah, like, that's exactly right. Yeah. Right. In other words, <laughs> yeah, even if there's already some a. Conversion is how much A have you consumed? Yeah. So it's just saying base it on the inlet to the reactor. So you can't have consumed A if you are basing it based on the inlet to the reactor. It has nothing to do with how much product you form, right? Because I can always feed in some product. Maybe it came from an upstream reactor. Maybe it just came because I bought some and I'm just feeding it along with it. So it's entirely valid to say we're going to define conversion based on the inlet. And that was actually meant to help you guys out that you didn't have to worry about where's that point three and stuff. Again, if you feel like you did it 100% correct and you brought the conversion all the way back to the, before oh, the CSTR. I mean, it made it so messy, that would be a great iteration. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right. It yeah. just took up so much time. Right, right. So sorry that that wasn't more clear, <laughs> but. Are you I saying it works the other way too? I mean, mathematically, I don't, we haven't done anything special to make this work. The pressure drop doesn't matter. The pressure drop, member is the only thing that makes this solvable is the fact that epsilon is equal to zero. But there's no pressure drop across the CSTR. So, but I have no idea how nasty the integration, I mean, I'll take his word for it. I haven't tried it. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. I'm a little confused on how you integrated the one minus alpha w. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it'll come out the same. The two over the two over alpha, the minus two over alpha is what you're talking about, right? That's there. That just seems like a less simplified way to write it. I mean, it absolutely probably is, but 
not everybody's going to want to split an integral when solving a test. And it's a fairly simple integral. Any other questions? Again, I'm pretty sure you weren't even required to do the integral. At that point, I was beaten into submission. Okay, and now you are asked to relate a to the parameters now that are entering the CSTR. So let's start with what is A. And so what do we have? Well, FA naught A is equal to the inlet to the CSTR times what? 1 minus the conversion in the CSTR. It's the amount of A left over. So it's 1 minus the conversion. If you had complete conversion in the CSTR, that would be 0. <coughs> CA naught A is equal to the mole fraction of A in that stream times the total concentration of A or sorry, the total concentration of gas entering that PBR. And how does the concentration change? How does, excuse me, the total concentration change across the CSTR? Yeah. 